So I'm here with Barbara West, uh, founder of Pure Light Films and screenwriter. What brought you to this point? I'm a screenwriter at heart. That's where my passion lies. And I've been really, you know, blessed to have a handful of my screenplays optioned or to win like numerous best script awards. But here's where it gets frustrating. You want to see your scripts made into a film and that's where it's not so easy. And as screenwriters, you and I both know how hard the process is. We need to have funding and that's the wall that just stops so many projects. If you feel in your heart that you've got a script and it's a script you really believe in, and you're just not seeing any momentum on it. Sometimes I think you just need to flip the script, take the reins, and just be more than a writer. You may have to jump into the producing end, or as you did, Jimmy, do it all. I don't know the struggle that you guys do because I never went that route of trying to get somebody to produce mine because I knew that uh, the odds are like playing the lottery. <laughs> so right. that's yeah. why I went out and started to do my own. But you are like one of the reasons I started the podcast is because there were so many people on LinkedIn that were script writers or novelists. And I was like, I write my own, you do your own. This is the only way that we can help each other. Come on here, share what you do, and hopefully you can find the people that you want. Cause... I love that. <laughs> so. And when you said, hey, let's, let's talk about for me, it was like, when all else fails, I'm taking you at this, make your own film, you know, because that's exactly what you've done, and I admire that. That is awesome. How's it going? <laughs> because, like I said, there's, there, I'm going to be honest, okay? Right. People can call themselves producers, but there are different levels of producers. You exactly. know, there's people that just put the money in. There's people, uh, you know, has been known for years when you get, like, associated producers. Basically, you helped out some way in the film. And then there's people that are producers that from the idea all the way until that thing is done and on the shelves as a DVD, they put in the work. So, you know, it's funny, I read this joke and it, you know, we know that screenwriters write the film, directors direct the film, but what do producers do in a film? And the answer is whatever it takes. And I, I had to laugh when I read that because I said, you know, isn't that essentially what we're always doing in a way? We're the ones that are putting together the treatments, creating the pitch decks, putting together budgets, reaching out to either film companies or... I was always puzzled about the pitch deck thing i uh, just in your opinion is that a way to cheat uh just just hear me out because what I, people came after me about pitch decks and they're like oh well this is how you do it you say it's like forrest gump meets you know the avengers so you can drop those two names of those films and then you're saying well nicholas cage might be interested if he gets the script <laughs> because you're trying to put it in the, the investor's mind that oh all these things could come but reality they don't have none of them lined up you know you're using a lot of visuals i think the pitch decks are important you know it kind of seemed false but then again if you did have everything lined up and you had the actors committed and all that i guess you would automatically be able to get the money right and, yeah. and, you pr and, the, and the thing is you can put down like your wish list it doesn't mean right that's what a, that's what i was saying is that kind of like false <laughs> you know no, no no it's not because it just means that you know like hey look if we had a big enough budget it would be awesome to have all of these but you know the thing is if you at least could maybe get one of the people yeah. or two of the people so well, I mean, that's what you, like I said, you're a screenwriter. You have to go through this process of getting investors and all that. That's your end. I don't really know that. So go ahead and tell me about that. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a learning process when it comes to producing. That's what I'm finding out, especially with that whole funding aspect. We know that equity investors, they're going to expect at least a 20 to 25% of return on their investment. And they're usually going to want a larger back-end deal. You can always try like a crowdfunding source to raise the funds. Or, this is an interesting one, you could utilize an unconventional approach to secure your talent and then get your funding. What do you mean by that? Well, well, I mean, okay. I'm asking because you said it. <laughs> but I do think, real quick, I do think the crowdfunding is better because I don't understand this whole return on investment. There is no way to guarantee to get the money back. I it, mean, it, you're right. It's very It risky. is physically it is. impossible. Right. Even movies that they thought were going to be successful, the wrong time they come out, make nothing. Very hard as an investor. 
Because it is. It's a risky... Right. At least know. with the crowdfund me, you can yeah. get that money and then, you know, they're all putting in a little amount, so they're not expecting to get anything back. But what's the unconventional approach? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's one. This might be one you'd be interested in. You could use... What if you utilize a high-profile influencer and it can generate a buzz, especially if they have it like they have their own channel or something. One of them agrees to be in your film they could receive a producing credits. Many of the influencers have like brand endorsements, which possibly may even want to be involved. And then they could be utilized within your film for brand placement, which would provide additional revenue. You could do what you're doing, Jimmy. Attract the following from hosting a podcast or a YouTube channel. What yeah. do you think? What are your well, thoughts? mine on the podcast isn't to be big. Like I said, it's basically, uh, there's a lot of people that I've already talked to basically brand myself to their friends and theirs to mine but i'm not like years ago you could actually get people that just wanted to be a part of something them <laughs> them influencers and they made the money so they're going to want half of that money of course. <laughs> you, sure. you know? sure. through all the time it's always been that whole question what's in it for me it is what it is. <laughs> but but each movie is different. So what you're saying, anything that anybody says will work, but it depends on the project. So yeah, some sure. of your stories, yes, you get a podcaster involved or an influencer, and it will work. If you go the investor's route and you got a star, it will work. But every single one of them, there is no, what I'm saying is there is no formula that works for everything. And you know, sometimes you have to take some unconventional approaches to do what you have to do to get your film made and to get the funding that you need for it. The worst thing is for people to wait for years and never have anything done. Test of our love. I mean, like, I thought I was just going to watch a couple of minutes and next thing I know, I'm like watching the whole thing. It was it was great. I kind of wish people could watch it more than once because I made it for, I'm, I like twists in movies. I like not to see the things coming and I, I actually put two of them in there <laughs> and you basically got to watch the movie twice to actually really appreciate it. So what do you have coming up? I have some several scripts that I'm really pushing forward with. I, I've been making a lot of interesting contacts along the way. You know, here's the thing. I'm always open to collaborations and you said well i don't like to do collaborations <laughs> <laughs> i'm honest barbara i'm honest and it, it, it's not that i don't like it's that i don't want to step on people's toes like i was helping another filmmaker look we're going to do this together and i was like no it's yours i'll help out from back here because if I put my feet into it, I'm off and running. If you slow down, I'm not stopping, which means that then it's going to be my project, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of because the worst thing that I... It's not that I don't like collaborating. I don't like people starting something that don't finish it. For me, I found it kind of really takes a team to make a film. I mean, you're, you're kind of the exception to the rule. For me, I'd love to work with a core group of people you know, influencers, you know, DOPs, executive producers that have the same passion, you know, to make things happen. You know, hey, these are our films we're going to make. This is our slate of films. They were very committed to doing that. And if anyone is interested, hey, I'm going to say, don't hesitate to reach out. When we go through stuff, it sticks with us. I'm being honest, 160 some movies, six of my movies are the only ones that never got made. And they were collaborations with other people that kept the footage everything i start i finish but it bothers me when i start something put work in and then the people have it and they never finish it so that kind of i'm trying to get over that hump and then there's the other ones to where i tried to collaborate with other filmmakers and they're like well look all i do is direct and i was like yeah well it's my movie i'm going to direct it so how is that going to work <laughs> you know but i did try i've been for these four that i got in post i've been just using the boom even though it's my movie i'm letting other people actually shoot it however you want it uh, okay well that's the we'll, we'll, well that's because i'm a great editor so <laughs> i don't really care what they get i'll make something out of it they want the position that's in charge of everything and that's fine they're in charge but if they're sitting around and they're not getting nothing done well, and all that to, then okay. yeah i'm going to revoke their privileges <laughs> and, and it's their movie so it doesn't turn out too good <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. The best people to work for is the ones that know every p project is its own entity. And if you don't mismatch on that one, you might on the next one. So okay. when you find those people, you definitely want to stay in touch with them because not everybody's going to see eye to eye on a project. Or I couldn't really do what the other people have to do when they have to find a crew and have to 
you know, get investors for script. That's the real struggle. Mine isn't really a struggle because nobody can stop me doing from what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Would I be able to do it bigger with investors? Yes. Will I ever find them? You'll probably have better luck than I will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not so easy. But I, I love that about you. You know, when all else fails, you know, make your own film. Do you think the script writing contests, just like the film festival things, do you think they really pay off? I've sent some scripts off. And, you know, I've, I've had a bunch that have won different awards. But then it doesn't mean that... It goes anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like it goes anywhere. Now, maybe if producer, director, or film company, you know, they may want, you know, a script that's won awards, but... The the thing that I was looking at is the one that sent me one last night. It's basically the same amount of money, submit a film as the script, but you got to remember, a lot less films are made than a lot of scripts. So there's like 10 times more scripts that you're going to be competing against, right. <laughs> you know, for the same yeah. amount of money, because it's harder to get the movie. People do it because they don't know any other way to... to you saying that you have won some awards that's why i wanted to know does it actually pay off i think that it gives it some credibility you're still pitching it you don't know if it's a hit or miss until you find you know the right person you know my thing is just don't give up if things aren't going your way you can always just switch it off you know produce your own films you know do it do what you're doing so that's, yeah. that's, that's easier said than done. But yeah, it's I've done it for so many years, so it's easy to me now. You get the same rejection, the people not showing up. Uh, you can't cast it right, you can't get the location, you know, you get, there's rejection in everything. That's why they say in the entertainment business, it's basically a rejection business. <laughs> you got to have thick skin. Yeah, take it personally, right. You have to just say, okay, well, that's not for them, but, you know, there's somebody out there, you know, I believe in this film, you know, we're going to get it done, so... Have you ever, I mean, you, you have screenplays. Have you ever tried to turn your screenplay into a book and try a different, like, to go the whole novelist way? Well, it's funny you should say that. I started off writing books. It was called Amidst the Secluded People. I did get it published. It's so time-consuming, you know, because everything has to be so descriptive. And I, I don't know. I just got this urge to change it and switch it up and to do screenplays. Anyway, that's where my heart is now. But I have on my computer, I've got their manuscripts, but I just haven't done anything with them. I've turned them all into screenplays. I have tried before to actually turn my screenplays into books and some of my books into screenplays. And believe it or not, it's a very difficult thing to, to go back and forth between them. It's, it's like certain stories just play better as a screenplay and certain stories just play better as a book. Right, right. Well, that, that, that can be true, yes. But what I'm thinking is if you actually got publishing in your book, couldn't you then, because of that, turn that book into a screenplay and then, with the success of the book, get the financing to get the movie made? <laughs> I mean, isn't that the, the you yeah, know, yeah, look, I, the Harry Potters and stuff like that. That's the, the whole concept is right. the popular book, then the screenplay, then the movie. It's true. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I, I mean, it's worth a try. I, I have just kind of pushed it aside and considered, you know, that was a young adult novel that I did, and I haven't done anything with it. But you're right, I could turn that into a screenplay, you know, pedal it from that angle. Yeah, because then, I mean, everything is about what have you done and stuff like that. So, like, if you're having trouble getting the one that you're trying to push out now, but you right. can get the other one and then get the credibility that, hey, this went book, screenplay, movie, I'm the producer, and then it, it should be easier for you because you already have the people that made that one is going to want to make the next one. <laughs> in theory, everything is in theory. Nothing is actually, you know, nothing's ever easy. You know, like you have the team, the one person who's really great with them, uh, like either it's an investor, I but, would love to work But with isn't that the problem for everybody, is the finding the investors? Finding the investors, yes. Finding your core group of people, I think those are critical. It, it seems like nobody can find them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I've always heard from this, this filmmaking course a long time ago that dentists are the best people to go after for investments because they need the biggest write-off of their money. So even if your movie and stuff don't make it, they could just use it as a write-off and get their money back. I don't know how true it is, but... <laughs> Next time you're at the dentist, you might want to ask, hey, you want to read my screenplay? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, like, whatever I guess you have to do makes sense, you know? Yeah. You know, to make it, you know, get that film done. Well, thank you, and I'm going to sign off. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Great. Nice, great talking to you, Jimmy. Take care. Okay, bye. All right, see you. Bye-bye.